After the conclusion of the UTA mid examination of the year, we all know that is not the end but the beginning of admission processes. And all the things you will be doing with JAMP after the examination is going to be on the JAMP portal in your JAMP profile. But there is something very important you need to know and do about this JAMP profile, which if it has not been done for you, you may not be able to do anything on JAMP portal, especially the checking of your JAMP result, original JAMP result, which is the first thing you might probably want to do on the JAMP portal. And of course, the, the most important thing to you after the UTA mid examination, all other things you are going to be doing on Jam Porter are equally important, like the uploading and confirmation of your O level result, checking of admission status, printing of admission letter. But I emphasize on the checking of the Jam results, especially the original Jam result, which is the first thing. There are three ways or three types of uh, UTA mid result. You can check your UTA mid result through sms by sending result to 55019 also there is something called uta me notification of result which that can also be checked on the jump portal and also the original jump result without doing what i want to talk about in this video you, you will be able to check your result through sms but for your original jump result you will not be able to check and print it and that is why this video or what i want to talk about in this video is very important also before the end of this video you will get to know how you can log in into your jam profile so that you can test or authenticate what i want to discuss with you so just stay with me to the end of the video before i proceed to talk about it if you are a returning subscriber here i say a very big thank you and if you are new here on this channel we make videos on education and career guides so feel free to join the community by subscribing to this channel what's that thing that is important that you should do before you can get access to your jump portal to, to do every other things that you need to do with jump after the utm examination two years before making this video that is in 2021 it is compulsory for a CBIT center or whoever want to do the jump registration for a candidate to make sure the jump profile is created before registration can be done but in 2022 a different method was used the, and the method that was used then is that uh, the jump profile of candidate was not created at the point of registration or before the examination so candidates need to go back to the CBIT center to link their email to jump profile so as to get their jump profile created before they can get access to whatever they want to do on the jump portal. But in 2023, the method that was used is between these two methods that have been previously used. That is, the, the creation of jump profile for candidates at the point of registration is important, but not compulsory. So because of this, what we have been seeing after the 2023 UTME registration is that some candidate jump profile were created, while some were not created big question or the most important question now is that how do you know if your profile was created or not if the cv center links your email in another word if your jam profile was created you must have received a confirmation message in your email i'm sure you are watching this video with your phone and you get you have an access to internet and also you have access to your to your email on your phone now so what you are going to do maybe after watching this video to the end is that you go to your email and check if there is an email sent to you with subject jam profile details so if you have this uh, message in your email it means that your jam profile was created and another way you can know if your jam profile was created is that if you have your jam slip with you you can take it out now and check if you have your email next to your phone number so if you have your email next to your phone number it means that your jam profile was created so if you can find this message in your email or you can find your email next to your phone number it means your jump profile was created and with that you will be rest assured that you are ready to continue with the admission process and everything you will need to do on jump portal so if your jump profile was not created number one is that you will not receive any message like i have said uh, in the case of the person that the jam profile was created for and also if your jam profile was not created next to your phone number you will see a word non non like n-o-n-e instead of your email and this can happen maybe because you did not provide an email at the point of registration or maybe the cbt center where you did the registration decided to skip the face of jam profile creation so this is what you will do if you realized that your jam profile has not been created you have to go back to the CBT center, not necessarily where you did the registration, but any CBT center and tell them that you want to link your email. That is, you want to create 
your jump profile and they will do it for you with a little amount of money let me just say that and maybe if it is the civil center where you did your registration maybe they might not uh charge you i don't know but if you are going to do it at any cbt center they will still collect a token but as i promised earlier in this video that this video is also going to tell you how you're going to log in into your jam profile for you to log in into your jam profile you need a password and how do you get this password if your jam profile has been created that email that was sent to you will contain some of your details including your password so that password is what you will need to log in into your jam profile so to log in, in into your jam profile you have to visit a jam website that is efacility.jam.gov.ng it's where you will see a space to enter your email and your password so enter the email and password and you'll find yourself in your jam profile i want to believe that this video is of benefit to you don't forget to share with other people so as to benefit them too and don't forget to like and drop us a comment because your like and comment will go a long way to help this video reaching a large number of people and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not see you in another interesting video bye for now